why is what protocol is the capital of tourism? I think the reason is to is one. One of the reasons is because it has several tourist sites. Yes. Semliki, there are some hot springs there. Mm. They attract a lot of people. You can look at the beauty of the town. It's very clean. Yeah, I saw it. As well, the road to Kasese to where the where uh, the but is and of course Kasese is known for a lot of things. So this one is just links with there. It's just near there. Then look at Chibale National Park. Yeah. Look at River Mpanga and many other things that would attract someone to come and explore Toro and experience the beauty of Toro and what of course what, what is under Toro yeah. Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, that's that why I'm saying Toro. Kingdom. Yes. Yeah and this is the city. Remember it's one of the cities that were recently put up in, the, in, in Uganda. Oh. So it is not just uh, the, 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 the capital of tourism only, it is also a capital city of its own. Yes, it's a capital city of its own. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah, and what I've liked about it is one, mm. it is growing, it's growing rapidly. Wow. And you can see, you've seen a lot of buildings that yeah, are coming up. A lot of, and when, including this very one here. When it comes to hotels, mm. hotels are being built and yeah, hopefully in the next five years, it's going to be a blast and one of the best destinations. Of course, it's already one of yeah, the best destinations, the but it will be a blast to just be a home. Yeah, because you can't get a lot of people who are not going to be able to do it. So, these are things which are found within Tor, right? Yes. Oh, aha, this is the one. This is the, this is the thing you cooked there, yeah. It's the one, mushrooms. Now what are these ones? It's part of the millet, the millet which is the same. Even this one? This one which they have cooked. Oh, yes. so, so this is the where they cooked millet mixed with cassava in to, the Toro way. Wow. It's from beans. That one is called the sub, it is from the mushrooms. The other one it is the nuts mixed with the, another green thing, it is called the mkobe. Then we also had the green we found when it is over this one. It was called and you see it is dodo mixed with another thing that makes it <laughs> oh. It's a beautiful mo morning here in Fort Porto and uh, by the way guys uh, I just learned that Fort Porto has been awarded the title as the capital of tourism in Uganda because it's surrounded it is in the center of very many national parks and game reserves you can see there those are the ranges of Mount Renzori those are Mount Renzori ranges we are going there very soon. Uh, we are going there to hike, so you guys just get ready. We shall be going there. So guys, just like I told you, that Fort Porto is the, the capital of tourism in Uganda. You also realize that we do have so many hotels, lodges. You can move just behind here. There are also construction buildings. If you just look around there, there are more flats they are constructing, even up there, even just behind. So the city is developing so so rapidly within the next five years. Just even you remember how it was very difficult for us to get uh, accommodation here yesterday. Yeah, but it means it was very tense. When we tried to look for accommodation here, we looked for places, the places they were directing us to, they were a bit far, but the All services safe. as well. They are very okay, but they were a bit far, so it was very hard. But and most of them were already someone. booked. Yeah, people are moving, people are traveling. Mm, people are traveling. And most of them, when you look into the registration books where you register as you're checking in, people are writing tourism. The reason as to why they've come is tourism. And they are here for either two to three days. Wow. For us, we were here for only one day, and it's amazing. The experience yesterday, we moved around. The nightlife was just very cool. I'll just check out to the channel. There are the videos we've already up uploaded the videos I think. Yeah, yeah. Subscribe as well, like the video, drop the comments. Thank you so much. So guys, uh, let's be moving around the city. So where are we going now? Uh, at the moment we are just doing a mini tour and we are 
trouble. I think just rotate it around. We are now heading towards the palace. The palace. The palace of the king. Yeah. So the king actually stays within the, the city. Yes, it's not so far away. Wow. He stays within the city and the palace is known as it's called Karuzika. Karuzika. Just like the one of Bunyoro. Mm. Even Bunyoro, the palace is known as Ka but it's called Karuzika. Even this one is called Karuzika. So does it mean that uh, uh, the Batoro and the Banyoro, they are kind of uh, related? Wow, just like you he was telling you, you just look around there, you will see a new building. New buildings yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if you look just by our right here, you see this is almost bumpy. And then if you just look around here, this is also... Just look again behind, there are like two to three buildings which are coming. So this city here, this is uh, within the next five years, yeah, five years. It's going to be something else. By the way, also those ones are some of the ranges of mountain range because it runs, they run, we, can, we, can, we call them part of the because it runs up to the central up up But these are not, these are, are these within uh, uh, Fort Porto? They are within. Wow. So they run, go like that up to the other side. But then it's not like the Virunga Mountains. Some people may confuse them at the Virunga because also the Virunga Mountains mm. down in Chisoro, yes. they are shared by Rwanda, Uganda, and DRC. So you mean, but uh, the formation is different of these mountains. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the other ones were the Virunga were found as the result of volcanic eruption. Whereas this one, these ones are. I'm not really sure, mm. but they, they are not of the same. Okay. So this is the taxi park. Oh, yes. this is the, the, the taxi park. Yeah. Wow. So I think we should continue to this other side. All right. And go rotate around. Oh. Down here. You'll realize that uh, there is business. I think this is downtown. Just look around. People are having... Uh, people are buying stuff in wholesale. That should be May. Around here they are selling bags. Wow. I think this, this is the downtown. So you can see that selling much of the Did you know that this is the only city in Uganda with the an English name? Fort Porto. Fort Porto. Yeah. In Uganda. The rest is in Barara. It has a meaning in the rest of Uganda. Like Tororo, it has a meaning. Kampala has a meaning. Like Kampala came from Impala. Uh -huh. you, you, you can look at oh. the say they all have a, it's, a, it's a native name. But it's only Fort Porto which has an English name. Yeah. I think this is the downtown. You can look around here. People, people are selling their merchandise. Uh, so, wow. Fort Porto is beautiful, guys. Very, very beautiful. So around India, these are things the parts for electronics. Yes. 
Then they have to like the uh, <laughs> okay, how do they call this this fish here? Yeah. Any fish or is it Malibu? Malibu. 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 Is it the business fish in Fort Porto? It's the downtown of Fort Porto. And uh, is the uh, is Fort Porto a city or a town? Fort Porto city. Oh, it was still a city because of Barara, uh, Arua, Gulu. Arua. No, like. It is city among the cities. Yes, it is among the cities in Uganda. Yeah. It's not a town. Yeah. All right, thank you. It's like the all we know of Rapala. is called Chisenyu. Yeah. And why it is called Chisenyu? Someone in you in Lu who speaks Luganda may hear this word and be like, okay, that one sounds like Chisenyu. Yeah. Yes. In Lutoro or Rinyoro, Omusenyu sand is called Omusenyu. 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 And that's why this one is called Chisenyu. And yeah. Baganda call sand Omusenyu. Yeah. They call theirs Chisenyu. Yeah. So that's why it is like that. I think that is the right thing. Anyone who has a dispute in the comment, drop it in the comment section. Let us know and tell us, no, your submission was wrong. This is the right thing. So guys, we are continuing. Our aim is to go towards the palace, the king's palace, and hey. it's not so far away. But before we go there, yeah. uh, what, what's the difference between, like what differences have you seen uh, in Isengi, uh, in Kyoto downtown? Not this phone. <laughs> so guys, just over that hill, I don't know where we can choose banana plantation in that and the tent on top of that. That is the palace of the king 
mostly plateau. So Thank you. 